So as the pain bubbles up, especially when we're falling in love, Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In case you're new here, I'm Kim, this is Core Unions, and I wanna to talk today about how to deal with the emotions that come up as you're experiencing the opposite results or you're experiencing circumstances in your life that are going against what it is that you are affirming for. When we say ignore the circumstances, it just means that circumstances don't matter because they really don't. You can drop the circumstances all together as they happen, but you deal with them in a way that you know that this is gonna pass, that this is just temporary. Life is just mirroring back to you through people, through experiences and through circumstances, the things that we need to look at so we can change. Dealing with your emotions is one of the most important, from my perspective, it's one of the most important pieces of this entire journey. Through people, through circumstances, through oftentimes painful circumstances and painful experiences and the emotions are bubbling up to give you the opportunity to heal them you don't have to go chasing them down because they're showing themselves to your experiences so you can look at them so as the pain bubbles up especially when we're falling in love especially when it's the deepest form of love that you've never felt before that's really going to pull out a lot of the gunk that's kind of lying dormant within you but it's actually a beautiful thing because it's having it bubble up so you can look at it and make a decision that you're either going to continue to allow the stuff to steal your life and steal all of the things that you deserve in life, that beautiful, healthy, loving, romantic, passionate, sexy relationship. That's what you want. Yes, that's what I want. I get an amen. I'm going to get an hallelujah. So as it comes up, oftentimes we get so afraid of it because it hurts and it's scary to feel it and we don't want to feel it anymore. So we push it away or we just decide that we're just going to give up and let go and not be in a relationship. And really what we're doing when that happens is we're allowing the emotions to control us. We're not dealing with the emotions. We're not actually deciding, nope, this is a lie. I'm not gonna let this illusion of this lie steal my heart's desire from me. What you do is you see the circumstance for what it is. You acknowledge that it's coming up and that you realize that it's coming up to show itself to you because it's showing a part of you that you have to kind of deal with. I wanna get grounded and stable. I do that through breathing. That is when I'm gonna be the most gentle and the most loving with myself. That's when I'm gonna eat the best. I'm gonna make sure that I am putting only good things in my system, pamper myself however I have to, whether it's going to get a massage, if it's getting in the sauna, if it's taking a nice hot bath with Epsom salts, listening to music that I love laying down, breathing, meditating, listening to affirmations to make me feel totally and completely loved and adored. But as the pain comes up, I don't want to ignore the feelings of if a feeling of abandonment is coming up, if a feeling of rejection, some sort of a story of not being worthy and not being enough. Lies. I don't believe it. That's you. so freaking untrue. You want to limit your emotional reaction but you don't wanna ignore your emotional reaction because it's coming up so you can let it go. That's the whole point, especially if you're dealing with some sort of abandonment issue. I think that's it. The deepest feeling relationships that we have. It's a filtering system. It's like the mirror shows you what's there and then you deal with the emotions by soothing yourself, by learning how to love yourself, by learning how to fill your cup up, by showing yourself that you matter, that your feelings matter, then making the conscious decision to release it and let it go. Deal with them by giving yourself the love that you needed that wasn't given to you when these traumas first happened. So don't ever stuff down your emotions. Don't ever push down your emotions. Don't resist your emotions. Usually when you do those things, it actually makes it worse. When I go through things with circumstances and when it really hurts, I will cry like a baby. I will go in and hold my pillow. <laughs> also imagine, you know, my person loving me and holding me and telling me that no matter what, it's, you know, it's me and you no matter what, like ride or die, like all of the things that we feel for each other, I'll hear her and feel her 
and just sense her saying those things to me. And it feels very natural. Then we allow all the beautiful love that we know that we deserve, that we crave, that we are totally completely worthy of to actually be in our life and stay in our life. And we allow ourselves to feel stable and secure. And we let down the barriers that we've built so high around us because we were afraid to love because you know our past experiences of love maybe weren't that healthy. So anyway, I hope this video helps you guys. I love you guys so much. Until next time, have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Nothing can come, nothing can come between us.